Hi, welcome back. All right, so it is the next day. I let it dry overnight. And as you can see, it's a little bit tacky still. I mean, it's gonna be, but we're just gonna repeat that process of uh, just taking my old shirt, wiping it off. And the other reinforcements that I'm bringing into this equation is right here. So you need quadruple zero, the finest steel wool possible. The finest steel wool. And we're gonna use that to clean it up as well. And hopefully I end up getting the results that I think I'm gonna get from this. So stay tuned. Cup of coffee. Probably move it there. One shaking and spilling all over the damn place. We will move forward and proceed. The Ebenezer Spooge. Industrial grade pair of gloves right here. That might be what we're talking about right there. Definitely a bit more challenging to remove this material, but you know what? It's definitely darker than what I was getting doing it the other way. That was on the constructions of the article but that still worked good on the bastard v this one just uh was putting up a little more resistance a little more of a fight so we had to improvise had to take drastic measures put matters into my own hand and stepped it up a bit yeah that's the darkness we're looking for right there the darkness yeah dude that's what we're looking at right there that's what we're going for that's what I'm talking about. I swear to God, dude. The amount of times that people have to hit that stupid panic button, that is gonna be the death of me before this Pandora is gonna be. Driving me freaking crazy. Sadly, I made the mistake of telling my buddy that that drives me nuts, so what does he do? He uses it to piss me off, and it works. All right, got just about all the material that's gonna come off on here. So now we're gonna pull out Daddy big guns right there. Daddy big guns. Let's start cleaning up with this guy. You gotta apply a little bit of force at this point. Eh, maybe not. Now with the shirt, I had to use a little bit of force. The force. Use the force. It's definitely showering debris. Debris. Flaking as I do this. So make sure it's something you don't really give a shit about that you put underneath that guitar. Or else, it's gonna have dandruff. It's gonna have steel wool dandruff. It's definitely flaking right now. Yeah, this is gonna take a minute to do. Be right back. This okay. part is okay. taking a little bit more finesse to, uh, you know, make look right at the end because it is it's dried overnight. So what I'm doing is uh, okay. obviously it's watching Olga, Ola and uh, taking my taking my thumb like my fingernail in there and just kind of. Pushing against the frets because you do got oh, this camera's gonna be hard to try and pick this up, but like right there, for example. Okay, yeah, you can see there's just like a high ridge of uh, just excess material, and the way to get that off, way to get her off, is you just got to dig that thumb in there and just keep rubbing. Okay, <laughs> so there you go, awesome. All right, so here's what happened I wiped it as good as I'm gonna wipe, or any of the stuff is gonna come up, any of the remaining um, ebony that's lifting off of the uh, fretboard. Got all that off of there. And then I took matters into my own hands and applied mineral spirits to clean it all up. Um, I'm gonna let it dry and we're gonna see how it looks after that because um, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but got some inconsistencies in here. This, uh, I think this fretboard is just taking matters into its own hands. It does not want to convert over to what I want, but I'm the police, I'm telling it what to do. So we're going back and we're going to do another coat of stain after this all dries. And uh, yeah, you guys are just going to see what I'm going through with this. This one is definitely being quite the asshole cocksucker face piece of shit. That's all there is to it. Cool. Sick, bro. All right, just to show you guys real quick that I'm not full of shit, is uh, look at the difference. So you can see here, it's a lot lighter, you know, and that's four coats, including the fourth one that I let dry overnight. And then this one was only two coats. So a big difference the way that this one took the stain and the way that one is just being a pile of shit and just giving me a hard time. And I don't like that. 
Got enough hard, hard times out there. Hard times. I got a hard time for you right here, buddy. Really hoping that I'm not at the point of no return on this guy, because, uh, yeah, this just looks like dog ass to me. I don't, I don't like that, that inconsistency across my fretboard, especially like the first five or six frets. Um, the other ones I can live with. And why can't you see me? Stupid lighting. Ah, fuck, that was my knee. Oh. All right, I'm good. All right, it's gone. But no, I mean, yeah, the inconsistency. Dark, too dark, looks stupid, stupid, and over here is okay. I still want to, like, it's just, yeah, I showed you the, the comparison. The other one just looks way better. So we're going to throw another coat of stain on there and hope for the best. Currently fart fanning this thing off right now, as you can see. I want to make sure because it's still got a little bit of a shine to it. I know it's still got to dry out for another 10 minutes or so. Ladies, pff, yeah, right. Gentlemen, check this out. I think we finally got her. I gotta say, this is actually starting to look pretty tits McGee now. This is what I've been after the whole time. Trying to get this sucker real, real dark. So, this is that fifth coat. Just kind of wiping it off right now. Get it off of these shark fins. Yeah, just gotta keep going over it many, many, many times, like you guys know that I showed you. But I think I finally got it this time. Confident that this is it, finally. Like Huey Lewis would say, this is it! Yeah, this sucker's like almost black now. This is exactly what I want right here. Exactly what I want. Grabbed another old t-shirt and to show you how old this shirt is and kind of date myself. <laughs> Structure. You guys remember that store? <laughs> Those were the old days. Was that like back in 98, 99? See, so yeah, I've, I've had this shirt for quite some time. Now it's been promoted to Guitar fretboard work, ebonization, Ebenezer spooge. So I pretty much got all of the uh, surface material off here. This is pretty much what I'm going for now. But I gotta get to the grocery store before they close. I gotta get some supplies. I'm just about out of food. I'm hungry, I want some toilet paper, even though I won't find that. But everyone seems to be eating the toilet paper or doing something stupid with it. Damn hoarders. You need to cut this shit out, seriously. I do not understand that, but that's about what, and probably what I'm going to do too when I come back is uh, like these areas right here a little bit later, uh, probably touch them up, I'll add some more ebony, just little spots that need it, let it dry, wipe it in just to kind of, because I'm a perfectionist with this stuff, I want this to be something I'm really going to be happy with, I can stamp my name on it and say I'm proud of this, this is what I want, very meticulous, and uh, yeah, so uh, I will get back to you guys shortly on all this. And what is with that Freddy Krueger shit that keeps going on in this video? What the fuck, dude? I don't understand that either. If you guys been watching this video and you keep getting that, that stupid like zebra stripe going on, I, I don't know what that's all about. Sorry, this camera. Fuck. So what I ended up doing is I did go ahead and touch this up. Not only that, but I pretty much went over the entire fretboard again because after I wiped everything off, it still had uh, that inconsistent uh, kind of look to it. I just, I don't want that on this fretboard. I want to make sure that I am completely satisfied, completely happy with uh, what I'm trying to, the look I'm trying to accomplish here. So let me show you what I got going on. So what I did was, you know, I got a little more meticulous, as you can see, where I tried not to get any of the stain anywhere on the shark fin inlays because that was when it dried overnight that was kind of a pain in the ass i really had to kind of use the force and rub on those things and get those get the excess off of those uh shark fin inlays and i just don't want to have to deal with that again no i would have completely if i would have known that it was going to give me this much of a of a headache um on this fretboard i would have definitely took a different approach probably used a different product um, but it worked so well on that bastard V. I thought it was going to go over the same way on this guitar, but it just wasn't the case, as you guys are seeing um, in this video. It's just, it is what it is. Um, 
but I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna make this thing look exactly how I want it to look. The final product is gonna, I'm gonna make sure that it gets my, my seal of approval on it. And um, you know, this is a learning experience for not only myself and you guys, this is me uh, entertaining you guys and um, saving you guys some frustration and headache that might come to you if you ever decide to go ahead and do a fretboard die like this. And it's just unfortunate that it's coming out this way, but yeah, like again, like I say, it is what it is. And this is a lot, uh, regardless of the bullshit that I'm going through on this, I'm having a lot of fun. I mean, I'm having, I'm spending all this time with my guitars and just my music, and I just appreciate and just love this kind of stuff. I like the frustration. I like the grunt work. I like the, um, the jokes, just everything about that's going into this thing. I'm enjoying every minute of this, even when things just go to shit. I'm just loving all this and uh, glad you guys are being entertained and enjoying what I'm doing with this stuff. Everything I do on my channel. Love you guys for coming here and continuing to support and watch uh, all my videos and just everything that I do. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. But um, so what I'm going to do, enough of my rambling, I'm going to let this cure overnight and then I'll wipe off the excess again when I get up tomorrow. Um, and then we'll see what we're working with. Hopefully that'll be the final stain. And then after I wipe that excess off, if I got it pretty much good where I want it, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit longer, maybe another eight hours. And then that's where I'll pull the tape off. And then that's where you go with the mineral spirits, any, any runoff, anything that kind of got onto the uh, surface of the body. It won't remove the paint on the guitar, it'll just take the surface um, stain off of there. Yeah, and you guys will see all that. And then we'll go from there, I'll make this thing just really, really pop. It'll look really good when it's all done. What I wanted to do on this whole thing, not only do I like ebony a lot more than I like rosewood, but I just knew it would pop on this guitar. And it just reminds me of that Challenger that my dad restored when I was a little kid. Like that's that has so much, uh, positive vibes, just sentimental value, just anything um, to remind me of that car. That was like the whole reason why I bought this guitar. It just reminded me of that Challenger, that uh, that car. And I'm going for that look and it's just gonna look so much nicer when it has like a really, really dark fretboard on it.